Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about uh, laparoscopic AI in this video. Uh, the veterinarian we're working with is Dr. Todd Wolf, and he'll explain the procedure as he moves through it. Because I was talking too much, so I got to air it up a little bit. Now the guts and stuff are moving away from the reproductive tract, so that when I stab this trocar in there, I don't stab any guts, okay? So that looks kind of sharp. It goes in the spot where I made my incision. Uh, it's not going to be a great view in here, but hopefully it gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're trying to see inside. I wish this TV was a little better, but okay, so there's the horns up the top. I'm used to holding it to my eye, so I apologize, but yeah. So I'm going to stab the semen right about in there on each, each horn, okay? Well, that's kind of tricky. We're up where the reflections are, but those are the uterine horns inside. So we want to oh, place the semen. Uh, it's got a, there's, on the end of that needle, it's perfectly made so that it, it goes through just the wall of the uterus, but then it ends up inside the lumen, okay? So that way we're going to put the semen in there. So. This side warning, sometimes people don't like this part, but I don't put a, a stab incision on that just to minimize the amount of bleeding. But it does make a little pop. Some people don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try it this way, but most likely I'm gonna pop the camera off. Yeah, I'm gonna pop that for the sake of time. I'm not as uh, good with the camera breathing as I am with my eyes, so. Alright, so I lost a little bit of air because I was talking too much. So I gotta air it up a little bit. Everybody always asks if you. Just kidding. Oh, this is not true. That is <laughs> I'm gonna stall the next one. Okay. So I put a quarter of the straw in the first horn, and then I make sure it's, not, it's in where it's supposed to be so it doesn't splash. And then I, I let her do the other quarter, and then I go to the other horn, the first quarter, make sure it doesn't miss, so I know I've got it in the right spot, and then we finish the straw uh, after that. So. Thanks, Todd, for doing a great job explaining the procedure uh, on this U. Uh, please note that there are many steps uh, involved to get to the point where the surgery can occur. Uh, you need some specialized equipment. Some of this is furnished by the veterinarians. Other you will need to supply. And make sure you have a group of strong backs and bodies to help put the U's on and off the cradles. Remember, at the conclusion of the surgery, we did apply a, a wound spray here to the two incision sites. Uh, again, remember the U's were slightly sedated, and as we move them back to a recovery pen, uh, we'll probably want to observe them for you know, a half hour or so. Uh, this specific group of U's then uh, will travel 40 miles back to the producer's home, 
And again, that probably really doesn't cause any uh, uh, problems because uh, there hasn't been any attachment uh, in the uterus yet. Please remember, you do have three choices of how you handle your semen. Number one, you can collect a ram that you have on site. But again, uh, for usage on that day, the ram would have to be fertile and the semen viable. So you need to make sure you have an alternative source and don't want to run into problems with those synchronized use. Second is a fresh chilled product. You're seeing more and more uh, producers provide that. Uh, again, it's collected and shipped next day for usage. But remember, this is a volume of 20 to 25 U to a single sire. And finally, the semen that we're using is frozen, stored in liquid nitrogen, yeah, but it does offer the opportunity to breed to several rams. Uh, remember back at the start of the video and uh, in that Todd stated how he did basically uh, inject a half of a straw of semen into each of the uterine horns. Uh, the frozen straws then are, are pulled out of the tank and placed into a water bath where the temperature warms uh, the sperm up slowly. Again, then the technicians have to prep the syringe and attach it to the needle. Once he gets the needle placed in the horn, then uh, she can inject the semen in. Semen quality, of course, is extremely important in this. Uh, we'll show a picture here in a little bit uh, of how active the, the sperm is in this specific sample. Well, in 147 days, we'll know how successful we were today. Again, a big thank you for everybody that helped uh, make this event go successfully.